Hello, my name is Elle Gilbert. I'm a former Egan FunFest Ambassador and a current member of the Egan FunFest Ambassador Committee. The Ambassadors serve as representatives of the Egan community and the Egan July 4th FunFest through parades, festival attendances, coronations, and much more. These individuals serve as ambassadors for one year, making new connections, having fun, volunteering, and experiencing personal growth. We are excited to announce the program has made a significant change this year by creating two ambassador divisions. The first division is for junior ambassadors. This division is for boys and girls ages 10 to 13 who can each earn a scholarship of $500 at the end of their reign. The second division is the ambassador division. This division is for young men and women ages 14 to 18 who can earn a scholarship of $2,000 at the end of their reign. Our candidate program begins in May, with the candidates participating in a series of judged events leading up to the Egan July 4th Fun Fest. Joining me today are the current ambassadors, who will share their perspective about the candidate process and their experiences serving as Fun Fest ambassadors. Now, let's meet the ambassadors. Hi, my name is Annabelle Karstens. I'm 11 years old. I go to Deward Elementary. My sponsor is Studio Vibe. It's a dancing studio and I dance there. Hi, my name is Genesis Scott. I'm 12 years old. I go to Valley Middle School of STEM. My sponsor is Heartbeat Studios and I've been a student at Heartbeat Studios for two years doing dance and acting. Hi, my name is Haley Foss. I am 10 years old. I go to Echo Park Elementary School and my sponsor is TRW Machining. They make parts for machines. Now let's learn some things about the Ambassador Candidate process. How did you find out about the Ambassador program? Well, my sister, what, she was doing the Ambassadors and it looked really fun. So I decided that I wanted to go and join it and I'm really glad I did. Um, my mom found a poster about it in the community and she researched it and she asked me if it was something I wanted to do and it was. I found out because my sister is a 2017-2018 ambassador and I saw how much fun she was having and I wanted to do the same. Now Genesis, what made you want to try the program again? I know many of our candidates have gone through our program multiple times before being selected, me included. So what was it that made you want to go back and try again? Um, I saw how much fun the current ambassadors were having and I really wanted a shot at doing that again so I decided to run again. What did your friends and family think about you being an ambassador candidate? They were really proud of me of doing it and they thought that it's really good for me to start volunteering and some of my friends are, want to start doing it. Um, my friends and family are really supportive and they come to some of my events and they're very proud of me. My family is very supportive and my friends didn't get it at first but once I told them about it and when they understand it they're supportive and happy. As we mentioned earlier, each candidate finds a sponsor to support them during their candidacy and their potential reign as an ambassador. Tell us about how you chose your sponsor and how did you approach them? I really liked dancing and I thought my, te well my teacher, she was an ambassador too, so she kind of knew how it felt to like need an ambassador, so she thought that it would really be really nice to be my sponsor and it really was. Um, like I said, I was a student there for two years and I knew they would be supportive, so I asked the owner of the studio if she would be my sponsor and she happily was. Um, it was, it's my, TRW Machining is my uncle's business. It's family run and uh, I asked him, hey, would you sponsor me for this? And he said, of course. It's clear, clear you girls have a lot of support. One of the first judged events is the Candidate Potluck Picnic, where candidates bring food to share with everybody. This is their opportunity to speak in front of the judges and display the dish that they brought. So, describe your participation in the Candidate Family Potluck Picnic. What was the dish that you brought and why did you choose to bring that dish? I brought hot... 
Was it one of your favorite dishes, a family recipe? Oh, I brought my grandma's cookie recipe because she sadly passed away and she was my favorite grandma and she made the best cookies in the world. Those were really good. Those were the best cookies. Um, I brought a cake called Crazy Cake and it was, or it is a birthday cake favorite in my family and it's my grandpa's special recipe. I brought my family famous, well my grandpa's family famous, chocolate chip cookies because they're at every family event that we go to and they're really fun to make with them. Well I don't know about you but I'm getting pretty hungry. I think we should get those cookies and cake back out. <laughs> Another event is the Meet the Candidate Night. This is when the candidates dress up in an outfit that showcases their personality. Describe how you introduced yourself to the Fun Fest committee during the Meet the Candidate Night. Well, I had like my dance tutu on because I love dancing. I also had roller plays on because that kind of resembled like sports and I love playing sports. I had my favorite stuffed animal with me and it just kind of showed me that I was really crazy because I had like different combines together. Um, I wore a Feed My Seven Children shirt because me and my family like going there and I also had music leggings on because I'm in band and I had flip flops on because my favorite season is summer and I just told the judges like all that and they were really nice and smiling the whole time. I brought my gymnastics groups because I love gymnastics. I wore goggles because I love swimming. I wore an Annie t-shirt because I was in a school play and I wore tennis shoes because I love running. You girls are very busy. Leading up to the coronation in July, the candidates have an interview with the judges. What is one thing that you remember most about the candidate interview process with the judges, or as we like to call it, a conversation? I remember most, like, they were really kind to me, and they're like, they're like, you can just take your time if, like, you're not ready to talk because like it can be kind of scary at first for like talking to judges because they're like all big but like they were actually really nice. Um, I remember being nervous at first but once I got in there all the judges were super nice and they just asked questions that are about yourself and you can easily answer. What I remember most about the like the judge interview is I was nervous at first and it was more of a conversation than actually getting asked questions. How would you compare it to this interview right now? Easier, harder, the same? The, the same, same kind pretty of easy, yeah. pretty yeah. relaxed, just a conversation. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it was like participating in the Strawberry Festival Parade for Cottage Grove. This was your first parade and your first time decorating a float. It was actually really fun, like everybody was really nice and like making the float was like really fun since it was my first time and I didn't know how at all so it was really fun to learn how to like make a float and everybody was like really kind. It was very fun because we got to see all the other ambassador programs and all their amazing floats and we also like I felt very accomplished after we were done decorating our float. Um, what I remember from the parade is it got delayed because it will do to rain and we didn't get to put as much decorations as we would normally because of the rain and it was really, it was a really fun parade though. Is it hard to decorate a float? Not really. No, when you have like people to help you yeah. with. Yeah, mm -hmm. a but, lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of hard when you're like holding an umbrella mm -hmm. and like trying to decorate it. <laughs> So tell me, what was the most fun aspect of being an ambassador candidate? I think the funnest part was like getting to know everybody because like if I didn't know anybody at that, like I didn't, but like if I didn't get to know anybody, like if I still didn't know anybody now, it'd kind of be like hard to work as a team. I agree with Annabelle, like, uh, meeting all the new people in our community and just seeing all the like fun events in Egan. 
I'd say um, what like what was the most fun about it is it getting to getting to hang out with other four um, candidates and getting to try new things. So I'll go to Genesis for this one since she went through this a few times. <laughs> Tell me about coronation practice. Why is it so important to practice for coronation? It is important to practice because you like need to get the flow of it and how to like walk on stage and not fall in your heels. <laughs> that is very important. And I'm sure you've all had a lot of practice now walking in heels <laughs> <Yeah>. and dresses. <laughs> so your final judged event was the ambassador coronation. How did you feel that night? Were you excited? Were you relaxed? I was really nervous because like I was hoping I get picked, but I was also hoping everybody would get picked. But like as they said my name, I was like really relieved that I got picked cuz I wasn't thinking I was going to get picked. I was pretty scared at first, like I had to give myself pep talks and stuff, <laughs> but um, once like they started calling the names, I was on the edge of my seat and I was the last name called and I was just so grateful and happy that I would get this opportunity. At first I was very nervous, um, but I was also excited even if I didn't get picked. But I was really happy when they called my name. After coronation, you began your experience as an ambassador. What has been the most fun aspect of being an Egan Fun Fest ambassador? I think the most fun of it is like learning that like when you volunteer you're like helping people and that just kind of like is hap like makes me happy that I'm like helping people and I know I'm helping people and like getting to know all these people is really fun. I again agree with Annabelle. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's just so fun to see all the good you're doing and to see the smile on people's faces when they get to like meet you and talk to you. I like um, hanging out with those two and uh, being able to try new things and meet new people and seeing the face when the little girls like look at all three of us. <laughs> During this past year, you've had many volunteer experiences. What was your favorite volunteer event this past year and why? Mm, that would have to be... There's been so many. <laughs> yeah. There's, I think it's Holtz Farm because... Mm, that's a good one. I got to see the ponies. Yes. <laughs> it was really fun to see that. And Did I saw, you ride the pony? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I actually took a picture there and now my sponsor hasn't hung up so oh, okay. I thought that was like a really good memory too. <laughs> My favorite event was probably the daddy-daughter dance because we got to dance with all the little girls and they were all dressed up and it was like a big party. And we got to do crafts with them as well and eat cookies. <laughs> My favorite volunteer event would have to be the Christmas party for military families because uh, we got to give out toys to little girls and I and little <laughs> and boys <laughs> and I love seeing their face when they got them and uh, having and seeing their face when they got to meet Santa and take pictures. Well, as we found out, you all have very busy schedules. <laughs> You're involved in dance, gymnastics, acting, and many other activities. So, how are you able to meet the requirements of being an ambassador while also maintaining your involvement in all of those other activities? Well, like, if I have an ambassador event on uh, dance day, I usually just tell my teacher that and she says it's perfectly fine as long as I practice my dance because then I'm, like, still doing what we would do in class. And, like, most of the time, it's pretty cool, like I everything's good, but like when it happens, I just like tell people and then I usually like do it the other day. The calendar is pretty well laid out and they give it to you in advance so you can like fit your other things in with all the events you have and you can just schedule everything so that you have time to do all the things you have going on. 
My family, we have a, on our phones, we have a Google Calendar, and my mom and dad put all of my events and what I need to wear and all of the other things that we do. Um, I say that really helps us figure out. So. so it's pretty easy to fit everything in, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. Ambassadors represent the Fun Fest throughout the year at many events outside of Egan. What was your favorite event outside of the city? I think it would have to be Pepperfest because Pretty like fun. it was really like really cool because the spaghetti like eating challenge was there and it was really fun watching people shove spaghetti down their throat <laughs> and like I got a really cool pepper bandana which was really fun. I agree with Annabelle, the Hudson Pepper Fest was probably my favorite too because we had just gone to the their coronation and we had seen the new ambassadors crowned and we got to meet them when they were crowned and then we got to meet them again at their parade and that was fun seeing them again. My favorite event outside of Egan would have to be the Northfield um, parade and reenactment. The Jesse because, James days. Yeah. And really because uh, I really like the parade because we got to ride in a convertible. <laughs> and then the reenactment, I like seeing the people ride horses because my grandpa has horses that I get to ride. So many fun events. Describe how being an ambassador has changed you. Well, like, when I first started, I thought, like, being, like, like, we would always do, like, these things at our school where we have like a community thing where we like talk and talk and then it like I'd always try to talk over people and talk over people but it like teached me that like you need to take turns and like it doesn't matter if you're first like everybody should go have a turn to go first. I was taught that like you have to just sometimes put yourself out there because I'm a pretty introverted person and sometimes being social is a hard thing for me, but this has really made me more comfortable in social situations. One thing that's changed since being an ambassador is I've been more like confident in myself and being able to like speak out in the public more. You really learn a lot about yourself and you grow during this year as an ambassador. What advice would you have for someone who is considering becoming an ambassador candidate? Well, so I'd say like, they're always going to be your family. Like even in candidacy, like if you don't make it, they're still going to like, you're still gonna be a part of the community. So like they're still like their family. And, e and if you do, like, become an ambassador, it'll be your family for even longer. And then when you, like, when you're done with it, you're still part of it. I would say just be yourself. Don't try to be like other people because you're amazing just the way you are. And you don't have to try to be like other people or try to fit in to be amazing. I'd say if a person was trying to join, well, like, thinking about it, I'd say just go for it because even if you don't get in, it's okay, but it's going to be a lot of fun if you do get in. What is one thing you wish you knew before becoming an ambassador candidate and before being selected as an ambassador? I'm sure Annabelle and Haley have a little bit more insights because their sisters were ambassadors, but what's something that you wish you knew? Was it more fun than you expected? Was it easier than you expected? Like you just said, it was easier because I thought it was going to be like really hard and like I didn't know how like I was going to do it because like my sister was like she was older than me, so I thought she could do more things than me, but like it was easier than I thought and like my family they were like helping me out with it. Um I would say to um that's a hard question. <laughs> uh it's not as bad as a of a time commitment as you thought. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um 
just like go out there and you really don't have anything to lose. So just put yourself out there and have a good time. I'd say one thing I wish I knew is, well, I thought it went during the candidacy it was going to be really hard and I wasn't going to make it, but then I ended up making it and I was happy and it's actually not that hard. Well, we hope the ambassadors have answered some of the questions you may have about becoming an Egan Film Fest ambassador candidate. We've put together a little video that shows you what life is like as an ambassador. You'll also be able to hear from some of our alumni ambassadors. Hi, I'm Ashley. I was a 2015-2016 Egan Fun Fest ambassador. Hi, my name is Karina Monson. I was one of your 2013-2014 Egan Fun Fest ambassadors. Hi, I'm Eden Anderson. I was Egan Fun Fest ambassador from 2015-2016. Hi, my name is Izzy Bowie, and I was an Egan Fun Fest ambassador in 2013. Hi, my name is Elle Gilbert, and I was a 2012-2013 Egan Fun Fest ambassador. One of the best things I learned from this program is to speak eloquently. And that was a huge thing for me because I did this during my eighth grade year. So the next year I went to high school and it was a brand new big school. And it was good to be able to speak to new people and make friends easily. My favorite part about being an ambassador was definitely exploring more of Egan and getting to know, you know, the community I grew up in, the Twin Cities and surrounding communities. My favorite part about being an ambassador was seeing all the young boys and girls in the crowd wave back at us during the parades with so much excitement. 
My favorite part about this program was being able to meet so many new people outside of my community, along with making strong connections with the people inside of my community. My favorite part was learning more about Egan. I love the coordinations of volunteering. And you also can earn the Presidential Award of Volunteering, which I know for sure I'm going to put on college applications. I learned how to communicate with others, work in a team, and I really grew in my confidence during my year as an ambassador. Some skills that I definitely learned through this program and that I most definitely use today are public speaking skills and, you know, conversation skills, you know, keeping conversation, conversation topics, just avoiding that awkward conversation silence. <laughs> I learned so many things as an Egan Fun Fest ambassador, but the one thing that has stuck with me to this day is being confident in myself and my actions. I wouldn't be who I am today without this program. Serving as a role model positioned me to develop poise and leadership experience. An important skill that I learned was to talk more in front of people, which is something I didn't like as much before I started, but now I love doing it. I'd encourage someone to do this because it is just so much fun. You make so many ties with your community and you make long lasting friendships. I would encourage others to get involved because you learn so much about Egan and the surrounding communities and you really learn a lot about yourself during that year as well. My advice to someone considering the program is to just do it. Don't regret the things you don't do in life. And this program has so many amazing opportunities to pass it up. Not only does it look good on applications and the scholarship, of course, but you know, the platform you have, the sash and the crown, you definitely stand out and this gives you a good chance to better the community and grow as a person. I think you should be a candidate because this is such a fun program where I didn't realize how much I was learning. After my 2015-2016 year, I went on to be the 2017 Queen of the Snowflakes for the St. Paul Winter Carnival Junior Royalty. Now I'm a junior in high school looking at colleges and potentially going into other programs. Since I was the ambassador, I've been watching do more activities this year that love volunteering. Now I'm getting ready to graduate from the Carlson School of Management at the University of Minnesota with a double major in Marketing and Finance and a minor in Mass Communication. I am a sophomore at Eastview High School. I do lacrosse and marching band, and I was the 2018 Queen of the Snowflakes for the St. Paul Winter Carnival. So this program has definitely helped me throughout my life. I'm a freshman at the University of Wisconsin River Falls, and I'm studying biomedical science in hopes of becoming a genetic counselor one day. Since being an ambassador, I have stayed involved by serving as a member of the Egan Fun Fest Ambassador Committee. I believe wholeheartedly in what this program teaches young men and women about giving back and serving as a role model to others. I hope you all take this chance and run for this program as you make long lasting friendships. I truly hope you will get involved. So become an ambassador candidate today. Thank you to our alumni who contributed. We encourage both young men and women to get involved. We welcome candidates from the cities of Egan, Apple Valley, Burnsville, Rosemount, Mendota, Mendota Heights, and Sunfish Lake. There will be an informational meeting on Wednesday, May 8th at 7 p.m. at the Egan Community Center. This will be for parents and candidates to come and find out more about this program. Join us for Egan's July 4th Fun Fest celebration on July 3rd and 4th at Egan Central Park. and. For our Egan Fun Fest Ambassador Coronation on Monday, July 8th at the Egan Community Center. For more information, visit our website at eganfunfest.org. Thank you for joining.